social, my website, um, www.doughboyassize.com. Um, I'm at Doughboy Size on everything, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Snapchat, even though I don't really snap that much. <laughs> but that seems to be one of the ones that I fly now. Um. It's when fists fly with Big Nige. I'm here at the DCT Boxing Gym in Nottingham with the one and only Punching Preacher. <laughs> How are you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. I'm very well, man. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Long trip up, but we're here. Good to have you here, but good to have you here. <coughs> Fantastic session again. Great camaraderie with the team. Let's get things cracking. Ultimate boxer. <laughs> Congratulations on becoming <laughs> the ultimate <coughs> boxer in the middleweight division. Fantastic performances all throughout. Thank you, man. How much of an impact has winning this tournament been on your career? Um, yeah, man, it's had it's had it's had a massive impact, man. Um, it's had a massive impact. Uh, the amount of people that message me, people that I know, people that I don't know, you know. Um, more importantly, the people saying things to me like, you know, I've inspired them to get into boxing. I've inspired people who may have quit boxing to get back into it. I've had people telling me that I've inspired them to follow their dreams and stuff. People telling me it's inspired them to, you know, go to church more, take their faith seriously. You know that. That meant a lot, man. But yeah, it's been it's been amazing. The amount of support has been great. Obviously, with a big platform like BT Sport. So yeah, like I'm even getting requests for people to sign stuff, and that's just funny. Like <laughs> it's not, <laughs> not something that I'm used to. So yeah, man, it's been great, man. We're all thanks to God, it's been amazing. It's been a whirlwind of a month. <clears throat> Would you say coming back here, you've come off that high energy, yeah, yeah. and you're back down to the nitty gritty. You're back to reality now. Would you say? More or less, you know, because obviously after um, after the fight, it had, obviously I had a standing week off and I was back in the gym literally about a week and a half after the old boxer. Um, so that's how it is. Like, um, even me in my mind, I feel like I'm already looking at the next fight. I'm thinking about what's next, you know. Um, I feel like I'm back in that mode where I'm getting starting to get my head down and my fingers are itching again, you know what I mean? Um, I'm on to my manager, like, when's the next date? What's next? What's next? So, um so, like, like I said, Oba Boxer is a great launch pad, do you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like I can keep my feet firm in the ground, man. We keep, we keep moving, do you know what I mean? We move. So, I'm already thinking about what's next. So, yeah, I'm definitely off that cloud and back to the nitty gritty. That's good to hear. You mentioned it was an amazing opportunity to fight on such a massive mm -hmm. platform as BT Sport. Talk us through what it was like being on such a massive platform. Do you know what? I feel like I only got the opportunity to deep it like the day after when I was getting people sending me videos of them watching it on TV and stuff like people's parents that I don't even know like jumping up and down shouting at the TV and stuff like um, even some of the students I know at my church like in the library like having like little sessions where they're meant to be doing their work and I was watching it so it kind of blew over my head because you know when you're there you're just so zoned in on the fight do you know what I mean so for me, in my mind, it was just treating it like any other fight, and I think that's what kept me so calm. But I think it was a few days after I actually realised, oh wow, like it was on national TV and loads of people watching. Like it's, it's an amazing feeling, man. Like like I said, it's it's a great platform, and it's it's it's, it's, it's such a blessing to get that level of exposure. But you know, that's just a, a little bit of what's more to come. As long as I keep my head down, keep my feet firmly on the ground, and we keep pushing. So yeah, them opportunities will will, will find me again.